welcome back. Two workers and resources. And what might be the last episode in this run. I think we've learned enough. I think the struggle with personal vehicles will come to an end. There are certain limitations that put personal vehicles onto a list that make them really useful for smaller buildings, but trying to work around trying to work around them with just exclusive usage makes them somewhat unappealing. But nevertheless we have learned a lot. And there were a lot it was a lot of fun for me at least. I don't know if it was fun for people watching. I hope it was a little bit educational. And people will have an even better time trying to use personal vehicles on their own. That does not mean that Kazakhstan will end. I might continue playing it and show off in a later stream how far I got. But what is most likely going to happen is they will drop the update of you having to deal with garbage into the beta branch at some point and I'll jump on that and start a new run because I think trying to implement it into our existing town would probably feel a little bit dangerous and difficult. And I like restarting if new game features get in, um, added and then maybe try and break them. We'll see if that's possible. Think like a nation focused on recycling materials. Maybe you can import stuff and recycle it for the valuables. Who knows? I guess we'll find out at some point. In our run, we started over here with a small oil patch and the plan for an oil refinery. Building over to the Rovodima commercial district, which was intended for not having any people living in it, but just working as a service hub for surrounding residential buildings. That did not work out, so we started developing it with um, with flats and buildings where people could live. Also in range of the heating plant and the f later on constructed power plant. We started building rail infrastructure. Started importing oil. And developed everything to be as much supplied by the rail system as possible. There are not really any cars or trucks going to the customs house anymore, so everything is rail based. Which takes away some of the waiting time, because trains can load and unload much quicker than a truck for large quantities. After a while, I felt like I wanted to set up a new town, an area where I could run a steel mill. The plan was made to have an iron and a coal mine and then later on a steel mill, but that one was switched up to build the steel mill right away with the ore processing in place and import the raw resources. So we ran that for a little while and it made us a decent amount of money. Padonin itself took quite a while to build because we needed to develop a road all the way here and the rail system, set up the construction industry plus the unloading platforms but as soon as we had those in place and the resources were present, construction in Padanin itself sped up. And the tram network between the residential zone and the commercial district works quite well. As long as there's no electric outage, we're fine. And thankfully Padanin itself does not supply the electricity um, via the power plant being connected to the tram network. That comes from Rovoduma. Speaking of electricity, it looks like we have an electric problem, so there was probably a fire on a substation. Power transformer in Robodemo is on fire. And yeah, after the after the steel mill was developed, trying to haul hundreds of people towards the steel mill by car through a network that 
is very minimalist in regards to like the logic. It's only a one-way loop and it should have a very high throughput, basically two lanes of traffic that could go into the same direction, but yeah, the observation has been made that it is not. It does not work very well because of how vehicles, personal vehicles, handle the lines on the road, unfortunately. And also the cars, they like to overtake each other. If one of them ahead slows down, another car comes in from behind and doesn't overtake, which can get quite ridiculous in spreading the traffic jam further along. So we don't have a lot of vehicles getting out of this area, even though the road clearly has way more capacity. It just doesn't work very well. We are still building a tunnel here. Maybe once that one completes and we improve the traffic flow, maybe it will improve itself. Guess we're gonna find out. We do need that road connection to supply the vehicles into the upper area, which currently does not happen without the junction up here. So maybe once we have the tunnel, traffic flow down here will improve as we will have not, no vehicles trying to turn left into this area. But that remains to be seen and I guess we only have one episode to find out. Last up, our nation was built on the foundation of taking a lot of money from the West and not paying it back. We are doing that right now. So I feel vindicated in that it is not totally cheese, but yeah. The US based loan saved us in the early game setting up the oil refinery in the power plant area. And then we started taking out a lot of loans from the east as well. Both of them are almost completely paid back. We have a lot of ability to take out loans if we want to on the eastern side and the western side the loan has almost reached back the amount of what we have to pay back so things are looking pretty good as soon as the eastern based loan has been repaid we'll shift everything to the west with our resource imports and then our currency situation should become stable we will still need the occasional splash of like rubles if we want to make vehicle purchases or we could just decide and make all the vehicles ourselves now that we have a decent chunk of the resources available anyway. Yeah, everything is working. As it should, more or less. Excluding the traffic jam issues, everything seems to be running pretty well. Is the vehicle AI was a bit smarter, or if I was smarter and found a way to set up the merging of these traffic lanes, then maybe things would be much better. But right now it's not. Maybe the solution will come with the traffic light that I have planned here. Pausing the incoming traffic for a bit. Allowing this lane to always dump vehicles onto this road. Even if no traffic comes along, this lane will always be green. But sometimes the cars that bunch up here will have priority to pass by and leave the area. It is 2006, in-game, winter is starting. We are surviving against massive amounts of inflation, which are actually benefiting us, mostly, as they make the loan worth less and less that we took out five years ago. So if I were to look at, let's say, the last 
five years and compare the price of alcohol it went from 3,000 to now about 5,000 so it almost doubled in price meaning that our loan that we took out and the interest rate on it not that problematic anymore so basically if we had imported a bunch of resources with that money and then waited five years to pay pay it all back we would probably also made a profit and yeah the loans are slowly fading away Two more of the larger loans paid back. I'm ready to start switching over our exports to the west. As well as our imports after we paid everything back. And then we would see. Hmm. I don't think there's any benefit to taking out a loan to repay everything. Especially with the high interest rate. And also there's no inflation on the western side, at least not that much. So if we took out a loan we would have to pay everything back. And it wouldn't just become nothing after a while. I really like using personal cars now. Not in the quantity of a steel mill or an iron mine probably, or a coal mine. That remains to be seen. But for asphalt and concrete plants for ore processing facilities, for non-critical infrastructure where there's like 15 workers. It's really, really useful. A heating plant, a power plant, probably not. But maybe if we had very few cars anyway, then those might also be just fine. And the rail construction office is probably also a building that will be somewhere outside of town with a parking lot next to it and then it'll be fine without any bus route or large amounts of um, trains bringing workers to it just existing there with a few workers continuously arriving should be sufficient the parking lot is basically like a bus stop that works without a without a traffic route it just sets up its own traffic routes based on how many people and cars you have and just works it tries to even out the amount of cars that go everywhere it felt like so we have a few cars in these parking lots and a few cars in these parking lots you can't prioritize it if you could prioritize it and say I want a lot of people to go to these parking lots and then they would try to fill up these parking lots with cars as long as there's like workplaces available or I could prioritize it on the heating plant and say please bring as many people as possible here if they have cars then I would use them more but right now the heating plant is basically at, on the edge of just not working so we had to set up a car route driving people directly into the facility It works, it doesn't look any different, but it's basically a bus route. So yeah, lots and lots of traffic on that road. If we could force this to be on the left lane and these to be on the right lane and then merge them. I don't know if I put them on a single road here, if that would work. Like if I set here, single lane, and then you go into a double lane, these ones should be on the left side and these ones should be on the right side. But they're trying to go through. Hmm. What if I do this? Yeah. Now we have cars on the right side and cars on the left side, but they're not merging as they should, which is unfortunate. Maybe if I disable the traffic light. Still doesn't work. 
that's unfortunate. This would be the ideal case. You have cars on the left lane, you have cars on the right lane, and they both drive into the intersection at the same time, and then figure things out as they drive to their destination. But yeah, can't make that work. At least we can now force them on separate lanes. That seems like it's going to be a good enough change, I think. Force these ones to be a single line of traffic, go onto the left lane. And these ones are all on the right lane. Alright, we need two phases again to make that work. Maybe there will be an update at some point. Once they add single lanes, maybe there's a way to merge both of them into from a single lane into a double one-way road without them stopping. Who knows? Personal traffic is not really the priority, but it is very satisfying if it works. And most of the time it does pretty well. This is an area where we're merging two of the parking lots together, and that's a traffic problem. But it's not looking too bad right now, so... We still have traffic issues over here where cars can't get all out of the parking lot. One and two need to be separate, so two and three can be one. And as soon as we have electricity, they should also sort out the traffic in this area a little bit. That should help even out the amount of vehicles getting out of this area. Still making a lot of money. Still have to repay a bunch of loans. But it's almost time to switch over our oil slash fuel slash bitumen trains to export to the west, which will be a longer distance, so we might need more trains. But that is not a problem. Our infrastructure is set up for that, I think. Maybe I'll switch one of them over already. Uh, let's say you will be switched over. So instead of going to that customs house, you're gonna go to Hellas. And you're just going to unload here. So we will not have any purchases yet. Just exporting some of our materials. We'll also rename that route. Similar to our other ones. Speaking of renaming, we'll also rename those so it's easy to see where they are coming from and going to. not rename the other ones. I guess this is so our first renamed export route then. Let's see. Fuel. Oh, there it is. It just doesn't have the icon. Export fuel bitumen west and east get the naming right for both of them.
that'll give us a bit more US currency. Why are you not building this? Taking workers from tram stop. Yeah, you should be able to take a lot of workers from here. Do we have a problem with the vehicles not being able to get out of here? Or are we just building? Oh, we're building the tunnel. That makes sense. Well, let's increase the priority of this underground electric wire because it only needs like two cars and the road crane and then it's done. And our traffic lights down here will work. Um, well... Not, not quite. Uh, we still need to build all of this. Can't forget about this, otherwise yeah, it won't work. So they are all working on tunnel construction. Slowly progressing through that. I wonder if the traffic lights will help. ones could just merge into this road as well, but they want to go into the right lane. Oh well, in general it's working. 24,000 people living in our republic, 18,000 workers, 11,300 being unemployed. We only have 260 unemployed people here, so we could have a lot more. 10% would be 700-ish, and we have like a third of that. So we have like 3% of unemployment in this area. More residential buildings would pump up the numbers. And building more residential buildings right next to the metro station would not be difficult. Like this one up here. Would need to make sure that we do have enough electricity to not run out on our tram uh, on our metro network. But in general, it would be quite easy to increase the amount of people living there. In this area, not so much. I mean, I can build a lot of residential buildings around Padunin, the commercial center but I don't have an easy way to get them to the steel mill except for running a train every now and then. So unemployment down here is 140 people out of 3,400, which is like 5%-ish. So also very low unemployment numbers. So population growth in general wouldn't be a problem to achieve in any of these areas. Right, let's repay some more loans. That might be a little bit much, but I'll try. No, we only have 300,000. Three, six, nine, eleven loans left. With one of them running out in 80 days by itself. We are slightly out of money. 
but I'm sure we have an export train coming soon. I did. Sw I think I switched the steel exports to the to the east as well. If I remember correctly. House, gravel, what? Oh, I guess we have two trains that can carry vehicles now. Uh, you are kind of obsolete, so I'll sell you. For half a million, sure. There's a train, okay, we're, we're exporting right now. I guess I did not move the, uh, the steel exports to the east to speed up loan repayments there. We're still exporting to both sides. Or did I? I didn't have a train route, I used the, the distribution office. We are distributing steel to the east. Checked and verified. Yep. So steel exports are also currently going to the east while one one oil train is now going to the west. Interest rate is really low. It might be beneficial switching all of the loans over if I wanted if I wanted to continue using loans, but I don't really want to, so. Paying 22,000 per day. 10 loans. Soon to be 9. Yeah, that's quite good. They would all be repaid in 4 years. By then, we would have saved up quite a bit of money. I'll try to repay them as quickly as possible, so I can switch more trains to the west. Need to repay all of that. I might I might start out with a loan for the for the west, so I can move all of the resource in in and exports to that side, so I don't have to wait for the full full amount. Just take out a loan so all of the interests are repaid instantly. Just need to pay back 5 million. And then we could start shifting our in and exports to the west. Starting with a loan. Do need to work on the eastern loans first though. Oh yeah, we have you here. It's expensive to sell, but it wouldn't be bad. I did move one export train over. Are we running full on fuel and bitumen? We are. So... Let's grab the export train that goes to the west. And send that one out as well. can go to the oil fuel unloading first. Now a tunnel boring machine that I could sell for 5 million. 3.4 million I guess. I don't need tunnel boring right now so I will do that. And repay more loans. loans left. Soon to be six. It's very close. I probably need some rubles to 
get more export trains because we're running full on fuel. And with the western route being further away, uh, that's a concern. I, gu I guess I will grab the train that moves train cars from Pardonin, move it back to the rail depot in Roboduma, and then get ready to um, buy a bunch of slash train slash cargo wagons. And yeah, these are expensive. Need six train cars for fluid and a train. And then we're good. Have another export train to the west. Because I think fuel. Okay, fuel has drifted apart quite considerably. I thought fuel was a resource that was pretty even. Bitumen is also drifted apart. Oil. Oil is relatively close together, but I think that's misleading. We're out. Yeah, almost, almost four times the amount of price. So just because the graph is a little bit small doesn't mean the difference is as small. Half a million repayment per 30 days. Yeah, we're getting there. Some plastics export. Keep us afloat. Not just because plastics is lighter than water, but because it sells really well. I could make the metro station a transfer station. I don't know if we're loading extra workers on the metro that can't get unloaded. Or if we are not picking some of them up. But I think all of them are transported over and... Yeah, I don't think we have any extra. Rail construction office has been deactivated. I could sell another tunnel boring machine. Another construction train. Is there anything in here? No. Let's see. I can rebuy the tunnel boring machine later if I need it, but right now I will sell it. Just to repay even more. And another one. Check our loan on the western side. Still need five million. The interest rate is going down. As soon as we can take out a loan on the west where we have extra money left over. I will do so, and then try to slowly shift our resource imports exports over. I think that will be worth it. I also need another train because we're still full on fuel. delivering to the wrong depot, so the last stop would be this depot. And then we'll grab some cargo wagons that are really expensive. And we need like six of those. How much do our construction trains sell for? I have like three of them that I don't need right now. One million each? Sure. There's no rail construction currently scheduled. But if I can increase the amount of money we are making, then so be it. Six rail cars. 
get them to the depot. And then I guess we will convert you to be the train that actually runs the exports. I wonder if I should set export to be specific for fuel because that's what we're running full on. I guess it's still fine. We're not exclusively running full of fuel. They still export more fuel than bitumen, so I think we're still fine. Six point six million left. We need to run once more. So expensive. If only I could buy them from the West. I don't think the West has any anything to buy for us. Cargo wagons, only cement tanks. If they have cement tanks, does cement sell better to the West or something? Nope, it's also drifted apart quite a lot. Is there any resource where the difference is marginal? Clear waste is the opposite way, but that doesn't. It's negative, so it's fine. Same for wastewater. Wood is still pretty close together. It's only half. What about planks? Or oh, what's it called? Uh, boards. It's a third. So wood is pretty good. But not very high density of material you can get on a train. So it doesn't, doesn't carry a lot of material around, unfortunately. I guess I'll buy a dedicated train for it, it's fine. wanted to, I could hook this platform up again with these. Uh, should be able to. There's one more connection for oil available. And I think these ones are splitter pumps. Unless... Nope, these ones are merging pumps. Never mind. Like all train cars are ready. Let's get our route to the west. And send it out. Now we have three trains exporting to the west, fuel and bitumen. As I said, the distance is quite long. And we're also exporting steel to the east and everything is a little bit silly now, but... Oh well. A train diesel station burned down because we don't have a fire station in this area. Well, that makes sense. So maybe a fire station is necessary. I thought it would be in range. I checked the helicopters and they looked like they were fine, but apparently that's not the case. When I checked here, 
Oh, I guess I checked the construction office area, not... Yeah, I did not check down on the diesel station. So yeah, the, the gas station and the wind turbine do not catch fire, but the train station does. So all the fuel in there got wasted. But that's okay. Build a fire station. And rebuild all of these. And set up one helicopter in this area. Hopefully one is enough. And hopefully no train runs out of fuel while driving along here. Otherwise we'll have a little bit of a traffic jam. Out of money. Two platforms are waiting to load. So we'll need to get some emergency funds. Otherwise we're gonna be stuck. We are scheduled to export something, but not with all three platforms being fully occupied. Still got tons of fuel here. the train that I just bought and sent out but forgot to switch the platform it was supposed to go to so it went to the customs house first which I guess is fine I'm also still thinking about like the villages and towns that are existing around Maybe a run where I try to incorporate them a little bit better with a bus station and then putting them to work or in a commercial district right away. Or just setting up like the facilities right inside the village. I think that could work quite well. fuel, there's more fuel available. If this tank runs full we'll have an issue soon because then the oil refinery will start running full. But it shouldn't happen. Not with that many export trains running at the same time. And also them being separated from the import trains. Could get another train going. I think I have to. Instead of repaying the ruble loan right now, we will set up a bunch of export trains to the west. We'll carry two cars over, and once we have the money we can buy four more and assemble another train. A 
eight million owed. Almost down to four million for the West. The interest rate on that loan would be a little bit more painful, so we'll wait until we can do what I said. Take out enough loan to repay all of the outstanding ones and then start moving resources. Right. No one's standing here. We are scheduling an import plus an export. And another export, so money is okay for now. Maybe I should edit the line to where some of the train cars are like specifically set up to only load fuel. We have like six of them. Hmm. And I could force exports of fuel to be a little bit more prevalent. But no, the tank is still running empty, so we're exporting enough. And it's loading fuel faster than bitumen, so it's okay. Didn't know we were running full on materials. Shifting over the export trains to the west has significantly slowed down our export. So we need a lot more trains to keep up with things. Also make sure that we don't run into issues. The gas station for the trains has been rebuilt. So we shall distribute some fuel into it. Hopefully it doesn't immediately catch fire again. Fire station is also almost built. No road cranes yet, but they're on their way. Plus a mass bus and hopefully some more bricks. That was an oversight. I guess I didn't know that the tra train diesel station can catch fire, even though it already happened a few times to me, so... It's fine. Uh, excuse me, what's wrong with the signals here? deadlock in this area. Maybe that will make it long enough where that is not a problem anymore. And we have a section here where a train can park. Three trains wanting to import. And another one. Down to 6% interest rate for very long loans, but we'll stick with the half year loans, it's fine. Less interest rate, and we are working on repaying all of the loans, so that's how it is. K 
can take out 10 million in US currency with 14 million being due. Yeah, the US loan is still 10 million US dollars is still a lot more than I don't know how much ruble, how many rubles, but rubles are basically like super inflated now. But the US currency is still, if you're talking about millions, it's a lot. We don't get a lot from exporting. But importing is also cheaper. It's just more stable in general. I guess I could buy some train cars, or I could keep some money handy while our trains keep running. Production check. It's running, we're still exporting. It's working fine. Could could have a few more workers, but then we would run out of coal again, which is still a problem. Coal ore and iron ore is probably the first thing we need to shift over to make this area run a little bit more smoothly. I guess we could already start importing because as soon as we export something the money can be immediately put into new resources. As long as we keep exporting to the west and have some gates free for unloading then we could have a train standing there waiting to import some coal ore. with the tunnel. Lower the priority of the tunnel so they can build the wires and everything else. Because the tunnel always needs workers. The other stuff not so much. Why were you complaining about... what was it? I don't even know what building you were just complaining about. I thought it was these. Oh yeah, how did you move in here? What the hell? Get out of here. No one's allowed to move into this building. Not sure how that happened. I also think about like a run where you make very tiny spaces of residents, villages. The production cap capabilities are not really set up for that. Not sure if you could make a living with just very tiny villages. Would need smaller university and then distribute all the edu highly educated workers between them. Alright. Traffic lights are now running. Not here. I mean, they were always running. We're still waiting on the wires for that traffic light.
think that one worked better when it was two lanes, so I'll put it back to a one-way road. Then more vehicles theoretically can go through the intersection at the same time, and for the straight road it does work. As long as they're not trying to do anything silly on that section of road, it should be fine. Look how cheap oil is. Still can't get over that, but I guess refining it is a somewhat complicated process. Oil is cheap. Nothing else is a problem in this area. We have running water. Slightly low pressure, but we do have running water. Productivity is okay-ish. Alright, now we're exporting everything. So now we definitely have more than enough export trains. I don't need the other train then. I guess I bought it and have it. But it's not necessary right now. Maybe once we switch it over to the west, but yeah, not not right now. Last thing we will move over from the east to the west is like distribution office purchases because they they would have problems if we don't have any money. They would go back back and forth and get confused. I guess hmm. I bought these for a million and they're already worthless. Less than a million. Six loans. Two of them running out this year. The other two long duration loans. The other four I mean. Uh, we can borrow 113... Oh, that's million rubles. Sorry, I was on the wrong tab. I thought we could borrow 113 US dollars. That's not the case. Would be fun though. I guess I could do what I did in reverse and just borrow a bunch of rubles buy a bunch of nuclear fuel and sell it to the west and then switch over. I would have to repay the ruble loan anyway because all of the vehicles we can buy and use are on the eastern side. Or we buy, um, we buy the production licenses. Yeah, I don't really have anything else. I'm waiting for this tunnel to finish. I want to see if that helps with traffic issues. Removing the need for turning left here for some of these. Removing the need for a traffic light in this area because there's very low amounts of traffic from here. That traffic light should not exist.
But there needs to be a traffic light on that junction. One and two, and then... No, that needs to be split up. Walls. We need electricity here. We need some workers. Where are they going? There's another tunnel. Let's lower that priority. Oh yeah, these tunnels, I guess. I already started work on that one. Let's finish the other one, the electric wires first, please. Then we can have a lot of vehicles leaving this area with these ones coming from this road, waiting. Chemical imports for half a million, no great deal. Two million, two and a half million left, US currency. As I said, as soon as we reach, as soon as this number becomes the same as this one, I'll take out a loan to repay the outstanding ones. And hopefully that will improve our credit rating. And we can start using the US border for resource imports. Should probably move over the steel exports to the west also. I still need rubles. Export fuel, steel, bitumen, plastics. If I moved steel over, we still have fuel and bitumen. Imports are coal ore is cheap. Make our own electronics. Still don't make our own mechanical components, but that would be an extension of the steel mill with some people driving there by car. It doesn't even need to be hooked up to the storage, there could just be a truck route delivering steel and then a truck route putting it into a warehouse for export and supply for our nation. The crying of the people in Robodu must still continue on. Okay, now they're finally starting to build these. This should go really quickly. All of the digging has already been completed, so they just need to go to each side and finish constructing it. Resources are already present. Uh, three quarter of a million of rubles versus 150,000 US currency. That's the inflation we're dealing with. And that's why the outstanding loan is still very large. I want to try and re... I want to try taking out a loan 
to repay my existing loan and see if it drives down the interest. It does. Let's take out another one. Eleven point two down to ten percent. So the next loan will be cheaper. Eight point nine million US currency is allowed to be loaned out. Now it's eleven. Alright, we're good. We're we are good. Taking it we're um switching over the resources to the US border is now a go. Even though we're taking out massive amounts of loans that are to be repaid in the half a year. Alright, let's see. Resource imports. Coal ore import. West. Down to 6.6% interest rate. We're getting there. Anyway, Customs House. Pelas. Let's we'll switch all of our coal import trains over. So this should repay all of the outstanding loans now. And then we need to be careful not to run out of US currency. One more loan. 1.5 million outstanding tomorrow to be paid. And then we don't have any overdue loans anymore. And we actually have US currency available. So we'll have to switch over more lines. Oil import. For example, oil is oil cheap in the in the east? No, it's better in the west. Okay. This is where we will need more trains. Because travel distances are going to become a little bit long. Check my fire station. Fire station is up. We'll need fuel for it. And a helicopter. Need to take out a loan for that. And our distribution office will bring in some fuel here the wind turbine taking care of the functioning the functionality of the facility. So we got some trains that were caught out on areas where they couldn't move to the new designation, but moving them through the depot and then letting them run again will fix that. We will probably sustain us on ourselves on a few loans from the west now, but overall our economy should stabilize. We still have to export to the east of course because we still have outstanding loans there as well, but it's not too bad. Some oil export will handle that, plus I just had to take out a huge loan to buy a helicopter. Could have bought a sky crane I guess. We have to monitor the US currency a little bit more carefully again. Interest rate is really low, so...
I'm fine with taking out short loans to keep things running. Let's continue the train lines. Well, import west, uh, east is now west. Forgot to rename that one. Iron ore imports also need to be changed over. And the iron ore and coal ore imports will probably mean that there might be too many mm -hmm. trains for that now. So maybe we have to switch some of them over to handle um, oil instead. The train shouldn't have got stuck. We have two of them. I assume they didn't get stuck, but we'll see if we get an exclamation mark somewhere. Mostly worried about the oil import now, because we don't have a lot of trains for importing, and we might run out. Maybe I should resume oil imports from the east, even though the west would be cheaper. The east route is so short and convenient. I'm not paying a lot per day, I'm paying a lot per month though. I mean, it does. It is a lot per day. 80,000 adds up. And I guess it's time to move over the distribution offices for whatever they're still importing. We're exporting steel to the Eastern Customs House, which I guess is still fine. Even though the distance there is longer, it's, it's okay. Nothing to the west. And you need to have your imports changed over. But travel distances will be elongated by quite a bit. Exporting plastics, clothing and electronics. And importing construction materials. Chemicals, fabric, alcohol, food. Mechanical and electronic components, meat, and that should be it. And then we'll see if I made a mistake. So now importing from the west. What will we still import from the east? There shouldn't be anything anymore. Looks like we imported some coal. I don't know why we would import coal. Let's check the aggregate train. Do we still have a traffic route importing coal somewhere? Yes. You. And they're gone. Still had some dump trucks dumping coal into our heating plant supply. But it's fully train based and should be okay.
I wanted to see the train that was waiting too long, not that person that had issues. Oil still seems to hold strong-ish, but I think one more train is probably necessary. So yeah, we shouldn't have any any demand for rubles anymore, except for the loan repayments. So 38,000 per day, we're gonna run out of money. The longer travel distances could mean that we run into issues with this. Since we don't since we might not have enough train cars to satisfy the demand of everything, might have to get another train or two to run more imports and exports in parallel. You're still exporting to the east, which is good. You're not. I should probably switch over one more train to the east. Just so we have a little bit more income. plus side we can buy mass 305 buses now if we if we were going for that could buy a lot of vehicles and move them over to the east maybe i should do that to repay the loan Quick splash of export. Assemble a train and export a bunch of buses to uh, the east and finish things up. Uh, I guess we can sell all, well, leave those tanker cars in here for now. We'll need a few flatbed cargo wagons, open wagons. Carry them over into the train station here the depot. Assemble a train for moving cargo once per click. So going here, loading anything. Don't wait until fully loaded. Selling it at this customs house until you're fully unloaded and coming back to the train depot. Four? No, we bought six. So we have to run once more to get the rest. It's fine. Uh, only vehicles though. Not anything you want, just vehicles, thank you.
That should take care of the uh, the rubles, I think. We'll see how much that is. The profit you can make from Western vehicles sold to the east is ridiculous. Thirty-three thousand dollars or three hundred seventy thousand rubles, so a profit of over times ten. And if you bought something like a diesel locomotive, which costs 400,000, well, you would be making about 4 million rubles per train. And you could also carry those. Not with the cars, but I think you could just pull it to export. I do like the buses though, with the cargo wagon. Looks a little bit more legit. Even though it technically probably doesn't make much of a difference. Need to take out another loan. Can't run out of money on the US side. Ruble side, sure, but US side is now locked in. We need to fix our economy on that side. We'll just make sure that we're we've repaid all of our rubles, ruble-based loans, and then probably also switch the last exports over to the West. see our our rubles increase quite quickly then you know that our vehicle export train is doing its job it's still trying to get here I don't know how many buses fit per car I think it's like four or six million sorry we had 1.3 million imported vehicles but 2.3 million export in June so we're still looking pretty good even though we have to pay 3.3 million per month back I guess it's only two per train car. I thought they could be fit in parallel. But anyway, it's gonna make us three million rubles just to have these eight buses on the train. And then if you have a resource that sells well the other direction, then you can have basically a money-making train. Which we could theoretically do. We could just say here, from the east, load anything that's worth a lot, like I don't know, steel, uranium oxide, steel, I don't know if they have like different volumes, it's all, t it's all in tons, you would need to check the train car so you can only load 190 tons of uranium oxide versus 316 tons of steel, aluminum is the same as steel, which is worth 16,000 versus the steel of 5,000, so I think aluminum is probably the one to go for. And then sell that over here. And you would need to always be ready to buy more vehicles to keep this route running. That's how you can make a lot of money. Twelve million to pay back in rubles, 
50 million in US currency. We are over the halfway mark over on US side already, so gotta be careful. A little bit. Maybe a run but just based on trading would work. Just build a rail line and run trading. In that way, you could just make tons and tons of money. It would feel pretty cheap at some point. So yeah, lots of money per train. Just need to keep the Mars buses loaded. And the aluminium we're bringing back to the west just keeps the money flowing. Three million versus... Oh, aluminium is expensive. That's going to be more than 3 million, that's for sure. Quite a bit more. A million US dollars. 4.7 million rubles. Our oil is empty. I need some more tanker cars. Train's waiting too long. Should be for the oil loading, unloading, right? Yeah. Our oil refinery already ran out. Okay. Uh, we need some train cars instead. <laughs> those in here. Uh, you can run... Yeah, you loaded all of that. Uh, let's maybe not do the whole aluminium thing right now, but you can sell it. But run once more. We need some money. Missing resource food. Well, that tells me that we are not doing travel distances very well. I don't know if we have an import of food running right now. Might have to switch the customs house back to the eastern one so we can not run into those issues. I would prefer not to. There's a train waiting to load but rail platform is very busy. Yeah, we'll switch the we'll switch the import back to the east. Load resources. We'll export stuff to just the west, but we'll still load all of the resources from all of the urgent resources. Chemicals, alcohol, food, meat. We'll load those from here. And the non-urgent resources will load from the west. Then buy you one or two more trains. Send a bunch of a bunch of the um, 
more boxcars to the distribution office. I will have to switch over the emergency storage because we are slowly running out of food. So emergency storage is now allowed to take resources from. While this thing gets fixed. And you need to do a delivery to the distribution office. not trying to buy any food, so I guess it is what it is. How is the Western Customs House? We should have plenty of buses to load. Forty-seven vehicles left. Yep, that'll last a while. Our emergency storage is not going to last indefinitely. So hopefully we have an import of food coming here soon. And yes, there's one on, on the way. building on fire just clicked it away I assume it's fine if not then I can't react in time anyway and we'll take care of it once it burns down uh, why do you have such little amounts of bitumen loaded why are you going for an export you're told to wait until fully loaded strange Yes, we're working on oil. Give us a second. I guess I will assemble a dedicated oil train for the east. We'll copy the western. I need. Uh, do we still have? No, we don't have a schedule for the east anymore. I will copy the schedule over and modify it. Same as before, just switch out the customs house. So we have one train still importing from the east. Which I think will be our last uh, import of non-essential resources from that customs house. That will continuously run. Other resources like food will continue running because it's a much shorter distance, so it's kind of useful. 
chemicals are missing? Well, we're importing them now. Chemicals count as an, an urgent resource, so that's fine. And we did have food imports again. So we'll disable the emergency storage. I guess they will probably use the food to fill the emergency storage and then we'll have problems with food again. But the import will take care of it. We have s we have a few days of food for this left inside the shopping center, so... Should be okay. And more is on its way. This time, much faster. Where is our train with the aluminium? Generated lines. Oh, those are like from distribution offices, I guess. We need our open hall line. And that one is bringing buses. This time, no import of aluminium. That one was a bit much. Hmm. Won't take out a loan. I'll wait until the train is here. It was a lot of money. Well, you're gonna run once more, so... Still short on oil, but it's slowly improving again. Switching over between resources is a little bit annoying, but no big deal. The traffic is the main problem, like the distance. We had a ship route, we could transport way larger volumes of resources. But alas, we did not set that up. Like importing iron and coal ore via ship to the steel mill? I think that's a very good idea. The ship is going to be really expensive to set up. And it also looks like it uses way too much fuel, but it can do a lot of the travel without any fuel, just coasting. US currency, that one is not acceptable. And those trains are meant to wait, you don't need to tell me. They are fine where they are. I might have to stretch out the, int uh, the repayment because yes, you have a higher interest rate, but finishing that loan and then redoing the loan over and over and over again, I don't know, doesn't feel, doesn't feel that good. Yes, yes, we're missing oil, I'm working on it. As you can see, we are working on it. train that is just exporting fuel. Neat. So we have some extra bitumen stored now. A mixture of box cars on the trains. Looking funky. 
could upgrade them to all look the same, but it's not necessary. I, at some point, wanted to add a fuel distribution office here. And never told any of the construction workers mm -hmm. to build it. So now that the resources are here, let's send some workers over. And do the fuel distribution on site for the fire station slash rail distribution offices. We'll have to buy one fuel tank car. And that can free up a few of the assigned tasks in this area. Probably don't need to buy a new car either, I can just move one of the existing ones over. We'll probably have to transition to long-term loans on the western side. Won't be able to make it work with the short-term loans. Since we switched over a bit early. Now we're up to 14 million US dollars again. The long-term loans will make that uh, less of a problem though because the monthly payment is going to go down to a point where it's actually viable for us to run it like that with the current rate of resource production in an export we would be able to sustain that no expansion would be possible in US currency I guess for the time but yeah would work But the coal ore and iron ore imports should be much faster now. So we should have a lot less issues with supplying enough coal for our steel mill. So steel production should also be increased. And yeah, it's not not expensive importing coal or iron ore from the west either. It's very cheap. As long as you have the capacity of your rail network to do so, might as well. Alright, we're gonna switch over to long-term loans now. Ten times the amount of duration. interest rate will be higher but we'll be able to repay them instead of running our loans full. And we have like half a year until all of those have run out and then we should all be on long-term loans. I guess I could already plan ahead for that so we have like 15 million owed. Minus 2 million so 13 million. We'll take out four loans and see how it goes before the interest rate ticks up. We are working on oil. I don't want another train going to the east, but maybe I need one if it's still not enough. Maybe one of the export trains to the 
east should be set up as an import train of oil for the west. I see it's only 10,000. So cheap. You can run once more. Thirteen point five. With four train cars, we had three million, so we'll have another one point five, four point five per run. For thirteen point five, would be three runs. With six train cars, that would be twelve buses per run. So we need thirty-six buses. Should be okay. Should repay all of our ruble loans. They're all short short term loans, so some of them are going to run out very soon. We're paying quite a lot per month. But we're paying more on the US dollar side because we took out just short term loans. And Hopefully we can make that work. As soon as we don't have any loans anymore, I can just set up some automatic export from the east to the west to convert some money. I guess I'm doing that right now by converting oil into fuel and exporting that. Yeah, I probably have to switch one of you over. Alright, go to the custom cells, I want to switch you over to exporting to the west instead, I think. That should reduce our oil drain, because these trains are drawing a lot of oil because they're always here. Or oh, I just set you to an import of oil. I think that's probably better. Make sure we always have enough oil so our factory, our refinery, never stops producing. switch you over and then tell you to immediately import some oil. And back to the custom cells please, turn around, thank you, and import some oil. Here's a steel export. That's a lot of money. Yes, 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 we're working on oil. We're not working on any happiness. 
it's fine. Why didn't you load any oil? construction still isn't done but we do have electricity here now so we can switch I guess I don't need to switch anything the traffic light is basically working so cars that arrive here the one cycle should be very short because there's very few cars for it and the two cycle will be much longer twice as long so cars will have to wait here, bunch up a bit, and then they'll be let through as a cluster of cars, and in the meantime, most of the vehicles from this side can be let through. I need the tunnel so I can get rid of these traffic lights. But that one is taking quite a while. There's more cars here now, so it seems like it's slowly improving. Our coal import is not yet. Don't have enough of that. We're running the the customs house like at capacity already. Also, do I have one fewer train car for you? I have one extra for you. The gravel train is one train car too long. Well, we'll fix that. We'll send you over to the depot and just sell one of the cars. Can't sell it out on track. It would be nice if we could get this section running how it should be. I guess we'll set this to low priority again, uh, to medium priority again, see if they bring workers here instead of to this tunnel, which, I mean, that's like a future thing. Oh, they're building the coal mine. I guess that's a thing that you can do, yes. But the coal mine is low priority, thank you. The tunnel is more important. I haven't set up the electricity, water or sewage yet for the coal mine. Or the conveyor belt that would carry everything to the, the coal ore processing plant. I guess I initially wanted it to be train based, but the distance is not that long, so since we have more electric connections, having a conveyor belt is quite easy to set up. And it also has more throughput than a train. We're running into a few throughput issues. I would need a whole train yard with a bunch of trains dedicated to it. I wanted to just run train-based transportation. Where is our vehicle? Did I just miss you? Yes. Well, I need to run one more and then one more after that. And then you're fine. The gravel train should have arrived in the depot by now. I thought. Here it is. That one is one wagon longer than the others, so it must be the gravel train. I'll remove one of the cars, now we have 600 tons times 10 for the amount of each of these hopper cars. So we are. That's probably why we had a few traffic issues with that thing being slightly longer than the other trains. 
slightly longer than 150 meters, causing unnecessary traffic problems. Very nice. Still no running. That's a lot more cars than usual. It's good to see. Well, hopefully we can finish the tunnel and I can correct the remaining traffic issue here, which is cars turning left to move into this area. The tunnel will resolve that. And hopefully then these traffic issues will go away. Up here they are already gone. bad. But things are moving along, so the tunnel should construct within a few months. And then hopefully we'll see an improvement and fix that area up. I'm not sure if it will be fixed from that, but there's a little a slight sliver of hope there that this might resolve the traffic issues in, the, in that area. Repay the short term loans. And I guess start repayment on some of these also. Leave a million rubles in the account. Close to a million should be sufficient. Now we have four outstanding loans left plus a bunch of buses on their way to the customs house at some point and that should take care of all of them and then we should be able to sustain our oil import with the occasional fuel bitumen export any any extra we make we might transfer to the west We have about th three months left. Then most of the monthly due rates should be resolved. We can't take out much more in loan. But the repayments per day should go down drastically once we reach like here. So hopefully we can last that long. We can still take out a few loans. It should be sufficient to get there, and we'll see. Steel export, steel export. Steel export will also have to be moved over to the west once we stabilize. How's the tunnel? 1300 work days with continuous supply of workforce. Yeah, a few months should do it, I hope. I mean we don't have a we don't have a chow crane here, so 1300 divided by 3, let's say 1200 divided by 3 is like 400, but we, instead of 3 we have 30, so it would be 40 instead of 400 work days, which is one and a half months, if we keep up the supply of workers to this area, which is not 30 yet for most of the time, but more than one and a half months for the construction. It's 
slowly clearing up. We're pushing the traffic issues back here. They need to be resolved, as I said, with the tunnel, but there is still hope that this will clear up as soon as we... As soon as we remove this section of the road and get the traffic arriving here by... by tunnel. Since I now have the traffic light on that side, I don't need the traffic lights over here anymore. I can get rid of these. Those are just... Oh, huh, I didn't know there was a start-stop button for the traffic light. I thought this would remove the intersection. Interesting. This is just incoming traffic, so it's just splitting up. It's not like there's something merging here. So the traffic lights don't actually do that much. And then we can gather up the traffic in this area. And manage it with that singular traffic light. This will create a little bit more traffic in this area since the vehicles arrive faster into the parking lots, but that's that's what will have to be dealt with. I mean, it is what it is. Where is our bus train? I want bus train. There is our bus train. Another four and a half million rubles, just a few buses. There we go. And then you need to run once more, I think. We have... 12 more buses, so off to the customs house for one last time to repay our remaining loans. I guess our loans are already repaid now. And there we go. No more loans in rubles. We can take out 130 million. Now it's just the, the dollar. still need a few exports to the east to sustain our need for buying vehicles, but what we definitely don't need is to send steel over there. So no more steel exports to the east, but instead to the west. Maybe I should buy a, build a rail distribution office closer to the other side, because having it, this one go all the way over there to export steel feels a little bit silly. But it doesn't have to run that often yet, so it's still okay. almost finished building the mine. It's just that digging it out will take a while. We should have a fire station here. It's non -helicopter, uh, does have helicopters and they should be able to reach the coal mine in case of an emergency. Those are older helicopters so they might need an upgrade at some point. If the coal mine burns down it's going to be painful rebuilding it. But We'll have to redig out all of the the shafts. Okay. We'll go back there when winter starts and the tunnel should hopefully be complete. Don't think I need any more parking lots for the steel mill. The heating plant is just, yeah, that's the one thing holding this back, personal vehicles, no priority, priority option. If you go, if you've got a car, I want to be able to tell you where you're going first, or try to be going first. Go to the heating plant, go to the power plant, and then you're free to pick whatever facility you want, but try to fill up the shifts on those facilities first.
Garden Union developed quite well. It's an industrial powerhouse area. Iron ore, coal ore imports, steel mill production. If we had this set up with like more residential zoning to carry the workers via train or even metro into the steel mill, this thing would churn out way more money than the oil refinery, I think. It does produce 43 tons of steel per day, if it had enough resources. Maybe not. Let's see. 43 tons per day in steel makes... 5,000, so let's let's calculate it in US dollars. So 40 times that. Let's say 1,000, so 4,000, 40,000 plus, like it's 43,000 per day. Yeah, I guess the oil refineries might still beat that out. Uh, da -da -da. Fuel, 125. No, actually not. Bitumen, 200. I don't want to do the math and I don't want to grab the calculator. 125 times the price of fuel plus 75 the times of bitumen. I think the steel mill still got it beat, but that's just guesstimating it. Even though the numbers look like they are in favor of the oil refinery, I think the steel mill has the edge there because of the raw price of steel. And maybe we drove down the price of oil and uh, fuel and bitumen and that's why that's the case. Okay, any amount of rubles we now have is just our own. There's no natural tick down there anymore. We are very close to repaying a bunch of loans, which will drive down the price of uh, repayment per day, so in half a month this will drastically reduce. We don't have enough money to repay everything, so I'll take out another loan right now, even though the interest rate is... I guess the interest rate did improve compared to the other ones. But we might be able to get cheaper loans once this runs. The, once these loans run out and we are able to repay them. Oil is looking better. Our import trains to the east are keeping that one filled, while we also have some import trains from the west. Because oil there is cheaper. Relatively. We need more coal ore. And the import is... slow. The train station we have is not sufficient. And I don't want to squeeze another unloading station in here. I thought these unloading stations would be way faster. I guess... Oh man. I guess the problem is that the iron ore could occupy both unloading spots. Maybe I should move one of these over to... Coal. I think that's something I have to do. Why well, I should just need to tell the iron ore to not wait until fully unloaded. With the coal it's still fine, but iron ore just continuously run I guess. That should keep the unloading platform free because it's like very quick to unload aggregates. Except if the storage is full, then it doesn't do that. I think it's like almost instantaneous the the speed of the unloading. Loading not so much. If I were to if I were to change anything, I would probably have the trains move out on that side. Still have the parking area before the loading uh, the unloading platform, but then move the trains out this way some way somehow. This setup would change, of course. I would have twice the amount of coal ore processing, at least. Probably three times the amount of coal ore processing 
to have enough for the steel and also for our domestic consumption. But that only is necessary if you like have enough coal ore at all. And we don't have that right now. A coal mine might be able to supply that. One coal mine? Like we have a consumption of... 210 times 4, so 840 is like what we're aiming at. Maybe even more. A coal mine supplies 4.2 per worker times 220, so 800 something. So one coal mine would be able to supply enough coal ore for four processing plants. Which is exactly what we were going for with the steel mill. And then leave a little bit extra for domestic heating, etc. Okay, we're not able to unload all of the iron ore, but it's not getting wasted, it's just... Yeah, it's just there. I should probably build these rail segments so they don't have to drive through this whole area. And can just drive out that way into this rail line. So we have the exit lane here. And the entrance lane with some signals. That's kind of what we want. And now I need a rail construction vehicle again. Which I sold all of. And they are a little bit expensive. But one of them will be enough. I do want this one because it can carry the most amount of resources. Thankfully I don't need a tunnel boring machine. I'll have to wait until like... We export a little bit and get some more rubles, but then I'll be able to afford it. I don't want to take out a loan to buy the rail construction vehicle right now, that would be counterproductive. But yeah, the constructions we can already assign, that's fine. But only in the correct direction, so we will not be able to assign these or these. They have to build them in the correct direction. Should be able to build this one. Not sure why you're not able to build that one. What's what is the problem? You arrive here and you start building it. Confused. Oh, I guess it can't turn around anywhere here. It doesn't know that it can drive the construction train into here to turn around. Hmm. Well, in that case, maybe have another switch here to build this. Construction train. Or was it? Mm -hmm. I'll build from this side. And we'll also extend the signals a little bit further out. So the construction train fits here when it tries to drive. I guess I don't need to do that, I can just make this a double signal, and that should be fine. And now we just need to wait for the money to actually purchase a train. It 
Should we have a few more buses? Yes. You don't need to wait until fully loaded because there's no more bus here. That's the last amount of buses. After that train does its delivery, we definitely have enough money to buy one construction train. That was like 4.7 million rubles per train load of, tr uh, of buses. Did I say buses? Uh, we're not using the buses. It's, it does not interfere with the directive of no buses. We're not using them. They are just passing through. Distribution office has been built. So your mm -hmm. fuel supply is the gas station. I'm not going to build a fuel tank mm -hmm. here. And you're supplying mm -hmm. it to all of these. And mm -hmm. I guess the distribution office. And then I'll move over one truck for you that we already have. Mm -hmm. remember if I called them regional DO or REDO. But yeah, we're going to unassign fuel distribution from the main distribution office here. So it will only bring fuel to the gas station and then the regional distribution office will take care of bringing it to all the other areas. Except to itself, because it can't do that. We still have a very old rail distribution office here, that one definitely does not need fuel. That one is so old and obsolete that uh, I'm probably going to sell everything. How much money is that? 1.25? It was like half a million in rubles for all of these vehicles. Holy hell. That was a lot. For that. What is probably considered a heap of junk right now. With vehicle deterioration and like aging and everything coming into the game, I'm sure you won't be able to save up vehicles to sell them at a later time for an increased amount of price. But who knows, maybe it'll stay in the game. We have four more short duration loans on US currency side, which amount to 1.3 million, it looks like. So we need one more loan, and then we should be able to repay everything very slowly over the next couple years. So we shouldn't run out of, out of money, because at that rate we can definitely repay everything, even if the interest rate is slightly higher. We have a longer time to do so. Winter hasn't started yet, but the tunnel has entered the construction phase of where machinery can do it. So things should speed up now compared to the tunnel digging. I hope. I don't know if I have the road construction assigned. It auto assigned itself if I hadn't. And yeah, the gravel has been delivered. Excavator is doing its thing. After that, Paving asphalt, rolling asphalt, and the tunnel is done. And the traffic jam warnings that we occasionally get is uh, from the gravel processing. Because if we don't need any gravel, those vehicles down here get stuck in a waiting pattern, which doesn't cause any other traffic issues. It's just that it creates warning messages. Could have another train exporting gravel, but I think one of them is enough to keep it running for a little bit. Or I just decrease the amount of workers inside the gravel processing facilities and hope that they drive to the steel mill instead. But the steel mill, was it now completely fine with coal? No, we still don't have enough coal. You can see how fast this unloads the coal war. I need another train for that. 
Customs house is already kind of busy. There's not another one nearby. That one would be the closest one without a train connection. And then we have three more train lines over here. Wouldn't be difficult to hook it up with rail if we had a functioning rail construction office. Would triple our loading unloading capabilities, causing less traffic jams. Especially co or loading unloading is very slow. But we also have a we have a a waterway here, a river if you will. So we could also put in a ship. And then unload it here into a conveyor belt solution that brings it directly into the coal ore processing facilities. That could be an option. Paving task has started. Two dump trucks, 160 days left. And then we'll see if the traffic issues start going away. I doubt it, but if they do, we could buy more vehicles. Now that there's winter, they're stuttering through the intersections quite sluggishly. Most of the time it works fine. Like they stop and then they start moving, but sometimes they break and start moving again and it causes this moving, this rolling traffic jam, which is unfortunate. Alright, paving has started. We have both trucks with the asphalt on site. After that one is done, they will send out a roller or some workers and flatten out the asphalt and then we have a tunnel. Then we'll remove this road section and see how the traffic evolves. Probably will also forbid any vehicles from ever moving this way by turning this into a one-way road. workers in this area. Plus 4.5, 4 4.4, 6.7, 8.2k, 8.9k-ish workers. So almost 9,000. We're not far off 10,000, but yeah, I think just adding the extra buildings is... I think we, we have everything, like, we saw everything that we needed to. I might still plop them down here. If the traffic issues go away, but I don't want to start another town area or do another, like, mass transit system with a metro or a tram. If the traffic issues go away, we could plop down the buildings and see what happens. But even these buildings barely have a third of the people living here are car owners, so this area would support a lot more cars by itself, even without additional buildings. Rolling phase has started. The roller has been sent out. Should be arriving soon, coming along this road. And then... We'll see. All of these traffic lights will be changed over to different logic. Same as this up here, as in aka no traffic lights. It'll take a while for this to resolve itself, but hopefully it will run the same as this road up here. There is more parking in this area, so I'm not sure if it will be sufficient. Alright. I take down the road already. 
even with the tunnel not fully completed yet. Just to watch the traffic go a little bit bonkers. And we will take down traffic lights. Five work days left. And all of the question marks will be removed as soon as the tunnel completes, which it now has. So now everyone should be able to find a route to where they were heading. I hope. Unless I made a mistake with the traffic routing here, but everything seems to be in order. And the dirt roads up here can also be removed. And now we wait and see if the traffic does actually resolve itself. Maybe I should get one more uh, construction train. Rail construction with only one train. It's a little bit tedious. You don't know what to do. I guess you're stuck after construction. Uh, can I fix that somehow? Not really. Oh yes, I can. I can fix that. By just letting you move here, you can then do, use the loop of the unloading station to get out of this area. I hope. Unless, of course, you can't move through here because you don't want to move back any further. Uh, sure, then go back to the construction office that way. We'll get another construction train. Maybe I should prioritize this and start construction from this side instead, but... We almost finished this rail line, so after that... This issue will also be resolved. Put the signal back. Okay, two more loans, I'll repay them real quick. And then we have our daily rate for long-term loans, which is about 8,000 per day, it says right now. We'll wait until the 14th of December and see what it is. That's the value, so 240,000 per month, which is doable for us. I think our oil trains can handle that, plus this occasional steel export. We should be able to make 240,000 to slowly repay that over the next couple of years. And we can also take some of the rubles to send them over for an additional boost, I guess. Buy some aluminum again. We have like we have like six million rubles. I can s send out a train delivering some aluminum. And that would be that would be some money. Can't do it right now because I don't have the money. It's so nice not having any loans, but they are useful. Instead of waiting, they allow you to do something, but whatever you're doing, it needs to be profitable, it needs to be making you money. Either you get more people, or you need to get some new facilities. If you take out loans to beautify something, it's probably not going to be a good time. Except for the time where you enjoy this thing that you beautified, until you run out of money. How's call all doing? Decent. We don't have enough coal throughput. We just make enough for the steel mill, but we don't have anything stored. At least we're getting more vehicles inside the coal ore processing facilities now too. Maybe I should export some iron instead of coal. Alright, traffic issues seem to be slowly clearing up. 
now we have the issue that these ones have trouble leaving. But this is how I set up this area up here. So after a while, I think this is going to sort itself out. I don't think I have any speed restrictions in this area. I had a speed restriction here, but it got cancelled. Uh, I guess we're gonna resume that one. Put a 50 sign here, which re uh, turns up the turns on the speed restriction again. Speed limit, which hopefully gives them a little bit more time to move out of this area. A bunch of cars waiting to get out of there, so. Maybe for the time being we can run a traffic light. Yeah, let's run a traffic light. A traffic light that makes sense. So, one and three will be a thing, and two will be the other one. And over here, this should just work with this traffic light setup. Maybe I should lower the speed limit. Yeah, the traffic issues are... It's, it's slowly clearing up, it's... I just have to let it run, I guess. This might be, like, already above the limit what one of the areas can handle. Adding more parking lots here seems like a futile effort to increase the capacity. We'll see. Maybe it, maybe it improves. a lot of cars on the road, that's for sure. Let's add a traffic light here. Um, if we had electricity, I guess. Then priority road, I guess, plus switch it over to this lane. There shouldn't be that many vehicles coming from this side, so... Presumably as soon as these vehicles clear out, then you can just keep going. Unless, of course, there's a slow trickle of vehicles arriving now. But we can probably fix that by making a traffic light here. Where we say... 3, 2... And then 1 the other side. No. Let's see, let's see. Three should be open all the time, so vehicles can always move through here. But then it will alternate between one and two. So there will be vehicles bunching up in this area, either from the gas station or from this area. Then they will be sent out in chunks. So they can always run. And they will gather up here if there's multiple vehicles. Looks like the frequency is very low anyway, so... was probably not necessary to do that. Looks like our construction trains have done a thing. It's time to go back and reassign them for future construction. Further construction. Now that we have the ability to go to that lane, we should be able to build this one and finish up the rail track leading into this area through with that pathing. Or we can also build that one, so both of our rail construction vehicles can work for the time being. And that should allow the import trains to take a much shorter route to the unloading and loading platforms.
maybe then coal import will be fine. Right now it's about even with how much we're using, I thought, but yeah, it's still not enough. So rather than buying more trains, I think I'll try for shortening the route that the trains have to travel. Our dollars are increasing, which is good to see. I'm not going to cancel any of these loans, they will just naturally tick down. And as long as our interest rate is going down, we should be fine. Maybe I can send out an aluminum train at some point, but we're not going to make much money on the eastern side anymore. Barring the occasional export of fuel and bitumen for a million rubles or so. That might be eaten up by food and other imports that we do. So yeah, our nation has now successfully switched away from rubles as the main currency to US dollars. And we will not have to deal with significant amounts of inflation anymore unless we purchase vehicles. Because the prices will continue to climb for these vehicles again and again. So at some point we will probably have to run an export of something to the east again. But we can do that when we need it. And then we won't have a, a significant amount of money sitting in our account that is inflating because we're not doing anything with it. Sorry, deflating. Becoming worth less and less. So, Rovodima is just functioning, the commercial district at least. The town itself could have more parking lots, but I don't know. They're barely using any of these vehicles and I thought I solved that with like some more high throughput parking lots. There is a lot of vehicles going here, so... But it's not just exclusively vehicles from Rovodima. There's also people from down here trying to drive up in this direction, I guess. Doing shopping or some other things. Because they don't want to take the metro. It's like, okay, you could take the metro for one stop or you can drive a car all the way around. What will you do? The car has more prestige? Okay, gotcha. Exporting some fluids on the eastern border. It's still making a decent amount of money, and the imports, while they do make a dent, I think since we moved over all of the important resource, uh, the non-important, non-critical resources like mechanical and electronic components to U.S.-based currency, I think we're still going to see a slow increase in rubles that we sometimes can just bundle up in an export and just have it move over. Like I could set out our aluminum train for an export just to make sure our money doesn't deflate. It would interrupt our supply of food potentially but uh, let's load half a train. Let's like load 50% or let's load 100% but I take out two of the train cars and sell these. So you load a hundred percent. I'll also reorder you. Uh, let's... I hope I can order you in front. Nope. That's not like that. Anyway. Load 100% of aluminum. You can already start. I'll add the other stop while you're driving. 
and go to this customs house to sell it. And aluminum is very expensive. Much more expensive than steel. Not as expensive as aluminum ox uh, as uranium oxide, but you can load twice the amount of it. Almost twice the amount. So there will be a lot of money on this train. I don't think we have enough money to buy all of it. Even with the shortened train. Just keep going. We're out of rubles. Thankfully, we're doing the occasional exports. Uh, also, we want to import food. Well, I'll, I'll send out a train to do an export right now so we don't run into any more shortage of food warning messages. You can also go. Oh no, you're not. You're going to the. You're going to the west. You're fine. Prefab panel import will also not work. No money. But soon. Soon we'll have some money again. And we'll have about a million extra dollars because of the train that is currently running there. Which will last us for about four months of repaying our loans. Just in and of itself. How's the traffic situation? Much better. I still want these cars to bunch up, basically. I would like a traffic light here. I could basically sneak a traffic light into this area. Bunch up all of the cars. Uh, I guess it's working as it is. Most of the time. Yeah, with the tricks of like parking lots, traffic lights, it would probably work quite well. I'll try it. I'll set up a fake traffic, fake intersection here. To then set up a traffic light. that one and we'll set one up here we'll set up those roads they will be not going anywhere they're just there to allow us to put down a traffic light on the street I should make that as a suggestion, being able to put down traffic lights on roads without any intersection. Let me write that down so I don't forget. Because they are useful for managing traffic. Like this one, prime example. Vehicles will bunch up by this traffic light and then go as a group. So if there's a lot of vehicles, they will all gather up in a group and then go at the same time. While this intersection doesn't have any traffic lights, so the cars from over here are unimpeded. But if there's ever a car coming from the main road, it will let them through because it should be a priority road. Even if I didn't set it, the it's 
it's right hand of way, so the cars coming from the rightmost lane have the right of way. Me not setting up any traffic signs slowed down traffic a little bit. So, if this one is red, they will have right of way. But even if this one's green, if there's no vehicle here, they can still continue driving. So I don't con so I don't create this unnecessary traffic issue where if I set up the traffic light here, I have to fiddle with um, with lights all the time. So yes, I'm just messing with the light here, and then this was just whatever. Can I put down the traffic lights before the intersection finishes? I can. One and three versus... Sorry, one or three. Two doesn't matter, so it's one and two versus three. So now the vehicles from this area will bunch up on this traffic light, letting vehicles go out, and then they'll move through in a in a group of vehicles rather than individually blocking people from leaving this area. Usually I would want this on the main road only, but I'm trying to see if this improves traffic in this area. We want one and three versus two have the same over here. Gather them up and then send them through as a group. And maybe the intervals need to be longer. So for the main road this should probably be 20 units. Same thing over here. Main cycle is 20. Side roads basically have whenever, whenever they see an opening, they can move out. But sometimes the traffic on the main road slows down to let them through. But if there's nothing on the main road, they can still move out. And over here, I guess I want to force them onto the left lane. So. We'll drop a one-way road down again, so they all move to the left lane. Unless, of course, that gets them super confused, which it seems like it does. Braking and accelerating all the time. Okay, now they now they fix themselves. Good. Okay, we'll see if that improves traffic might be able to get more cars here, if it does work. Yeah, seems to be running fine. Not sure what our workers are currently doing. Why are you stuck? You could drive through here and... Oh, you can't because that signal is... Right, that signal is not correct. No, it is. I mean, it is correct, but not for the construction trains to move. You should definitely not be there. That is... that's a big no-no. I don't know why I have a signal here, but let's get rid of that one. This block should always be free, because then if it isn't, we get these issues. Must have replaced them at some point. It hasn't turned into any issues yet, but... Now it has. Okay. Issue resolved.
can't even build these. They just exist. You can't get into this area anymore because this is a one-way road. It's fine. I just needed them for traffic lights and... Traffic lights only work on asphalt roads, but thankfully the unconstructed roads are asphalt roads. For the purpose of intersections. So I guess we'll just leave these as... Do not build. Do we have the traffic lights there? name there or there. Can get rid of those. Same as that one. That one might cover the end station here, but no, it's fine. It's still in the range of the gravel processing, it looks like. It's nice that you can remove the names from um, infrastructure now. So you don't have it cluttered along your rail or roads. Very convenient. We're out of rubles again. Trying to import oil. Uh, take out a loan, I guess. We do have enough oil. Just need to export some. Thirty-three thousand per month. Yeah, that's fine. As long as we're exporting, it should be fine. But yeah, that's pretty much it. This has been Kazakhstan, building a nation with cars. I think I'm going to call the run to a close here. As I did already said at the start, we have built two nice towns, both of them very much focused on personal transportation, and we've been working on traffic issues ever since. It was a s somewhat of a success. I think there are limitations with the cars that might be able to be worked around, but it's definitely not intuitive. But maybe the game will get updates to where this actually becomes a viable strategy. Definitely probably need an underground parking garage. Maybe if I had the mod from that workshop where I could condense like parking spaces for 500 people in a single spot. Uh, maybe it would be possible to run this, I could have one parking garage for like one or two buildings and then squeeze all of it into the same place and then just deal with the traffic routing out of this area. Who knows. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the series, hope you enjoyed the stream, thank you very much for watching. I'll be back at some point with the new update. Unless the update takes a long time then I might start another stream with a different run. Well, I might continue this one in a, in a later stream, but basically not with the purpose of doing a challenge, just running the nation with any means necessary. Uh, still don't plan to take any buses here, because it's working so nicely, but maybe the heating plant will get a single bus, a single bus route, I don't know. We'll see. As I said, thank you very much for watching. Have a good middle to your week, and as always, maybe I'll see you next time.